At this time, Lord Thora, there are eight uprisings in the Empire, isolated, yet the potential for a joint and open conflict does increase with the passing of each decand. And Earth, the home of all our ancient worry. Is it suggested, Councillor Rian, that perhaps some catastrophe befall this barren rock? Yes, Lord Thora, that is my thought. Let us dispense with the niceties, Rian. I have for some time been searching for a planet of suitable mass for the race of the Zala to people. Said the mysterious shepherdess. Is it a chalice full of life's blood that from the well of God a goodness will flood to the cosmos? A cup is a vessel that holds each new life. Is it a soul of food against strife? Is it a rose, or the babe of a wife? Or is it a lake in the mountains? Is it the silver that fires the night sky? Is it a kingdom, or eagles that fly on the wings of the wind of the autumn? Is it a palace, or lowly old farm? A vessel protecting the children from harm? Is it a mighty sea in a storm, whose deeps are a gentle cool haven? Or is it the storm cliffs that serve as a roost and known as a home to the raven that soars on the foam and the spray? For all of these things are contained in a day as the orb of the earth greets the sun. Is it the embrace of mother and child? sin and need for loaf of bread, have by tyrants been betrayed, and ocean is their bed. Those slaves who lived through transportation have in time prepared a nation, though an isle of mist is in our mind, and parted from our parent kind. Some to cities, grinding mills, others dying in the hills of a distant land. Now our isle begins to build, and terror falls upon the skilled, for they are put in prison. The locks and chains given for their pains, a pittance which their family gains to buy the cloth which in turn pays for the profit of those far off days. The owner buys a ship. And there in port, majestic clipper moored beside a factory key that takes the cloth and iron goods, crashing through the silver spray to far off heathen lands. And to its crew comes a commotion, sighted now a rocky ocean. Howling wind and tearing sail, God let not the rudder fail. Ships are sailing, blow the horn, why the anger, why forlorn, the ocean draws us near. The sheer weight of circumstantial evidence points to the astounding truth. 
events which will happen in Edinburgh within the next 10 years will shape the final destiny of mankind on this planet. For me, the story begins in 1980, in Edinburgh, Scotland. For others, there is a much more ancient reality behind Edinburgh and the Lothians. Dark secrets, arcane bloodlines, and a procession of alien beings and Scottish thrones receding into the mists of time, to the fabled remains of Atlantis, and the Watchers, whose magical powers have stretched across the aeons 